Hi there, everybody. Welcome to today's live stream. It's another nice, calm day today for this Saturday stream. I am very excited about it, though, because I am finally going to be able to finish up the first two years of Stardew Valley. So for those of you who don't know or are unfamiliar with it, um, the idea with Stardew Valley is that after two in-game years, then you essentially get judged on how well you did with um, how, how well you made friends with, the, um, with the, the folks living in the area and how well you did with your farming and all that kind of stuff and your skills. Um, so I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be pretty fun. Um, I'm literally on the last day of the second winter. And so that, that means that we're going to be judged as soon as I'm done with this. So it's pretty exciting. But that said, I hope that all of you had a good week this week. Or at least not too terrible. Um, I know mine was meh for the most part. For lack of a better term. Um, I mean, I, I normally have pretty meh weeks for anybody who is, um, who's relatively new. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, um, it, it is what it is. But that's why I said I hope that everybody is okay and that you all are doing well at least. I'm gonna go visit all my animals. And basically, uh, part of what I want to do right now is just see sort of what I can do this last day. I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm just going to try to um, make as many, um, give as many gifts as I can um, to try to increase my friendship as much as possible. So, um, like you can see here. Got a lot of people who don't particularly like me. Um, let's see here. Okay. I mean, the nice thing is that I can give gifts to pretty much everybody. I can't give anything to Sandy. She's in a different location, unfortunately. Um, incidentally, the way that it works in this game is you have a... Um, you have excuse me, cow. Excuse me. Who are you? Say she. Excuse me. Um. See, I forgot what I was going to say. It seemed important at the time. But I mean, the idea is you you've got the relations with everybody in the town and go and you get to know them better and do all that fun stuff and um incidentally i hope that anybody who is in school i hope that you're excited for the end of the school year i know that that's uh, about coming up here um, i know i'm excited for it it's something that i've um, i've been working through essentially so see these are all my spring seeds that I have, or things that will grow in the spring, I should say. So that will be fun. So yeah, tomorrow, the first day of spring, is going to be focused on me planting all the stuff, getting, um, getting everything set up, and today I think I'll do a little bit of that as well, but right now I'm just going to go around and give people gifts, essentially. Um, the the way that the game works is it resets the um, it resets the week on um, on Sundays and the nice thing is that everybody likes fruit which is very helpful when it comes to doing this stuff so I need a lot of grass starters um, once the once everything gets started with the new season, then um, then basically all my animals will be heading out, and so I need to plant stuff for them to eat. 
so that's why I need a bunch of grass starters. And plus, I'll get a, uh, I'm getting a bunch of extra as well, so that I can plant them around my um, around my farm. And then as they grow, I'll be able to harvest them for hay, which I'll be able to use through the uh, the winter months next time they come around. Hey, look, it's Eag. Hi, Eag. How are you doing? Did you have a, a good week, I hope? This is where Krovis lives. This is Krovis. He's kind of weird. But he likes weird stuff. So that's fun. One of relatively few things that I have remembered is that Krovis likes all the really goofy stuff that everybody else hates. Yeah, um, Leia mentioned in this game you have, um, Haley's still asleep. Word. My, f my wife is not going to be too happy with me about this. Uh, so in, in this game, if you give gifts to people and the person is the same gender as your spouse, then your spouse gets mad at you. <laughs> Cause it's like, why are you giving them gifts? What are you doing? Type of thing. I'm just like, sorry. But I need to make sure that everybody likes me. I don't think I'm good enough friends with him. I am. Yay. See, the kids, Vincent and Jass, I want to say. There's two kids in the in the game. They um they like fruit, but they they hate vegetables because they're kids. So it's kind of fun. Um but yeah, I mean, almost the end of the school year for everybody. It's crazy times going on right now. Like I said, I hope that you're all doing well. I know I'm... Honestly, for me, I'm, I'm genuinely excited right now for some of the stuff that's coming up for me. Mostly because it's the end of the school year, and so that means I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be able to work a lot less than I am right now. So I'm really happy about that. <laughs> and plus, I'm uh, I'm gonna be making some big changes to my um, to my channel as well. So over the next few days, actually, I'm gonna be implementing some major changes to both my streaming stuff as well as my regular YouTube stuff. Um, I don't know if anybody cares, but if you do, then it's for you. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, not something that I particularly have paid much attention to. And honestly, I don't know if I really should it's kind of a weird feeling right now with my YouTube stuff. I was checking my analytics the other day and they're not very good. I mean, they've never been great, but right now at least they're, they're not as good as they have been in the past. But, yeah. So it's one of those things where a lot of times I just don't really know how to feel about some of it. I want it to be cool and I want to feel cool. I want to feel like I'm doing well, helping people and everything, you know? Raise the mic. Oh, um, that, that's probably just because I'm talking a little low. I'll be sure to speak a little louder, but sorry about that. The, um, incidentally, the microphone right now is at the max volume. Part of the problem is that it's a little far away, and um, I, I had some trouble balancing the gain nicely so that it would work well. But if it's still not working, let me know, and I'll, I'll up the gain a little bit, and that, that'll help. That'll really do it. Part of the problem, too, is that I, I want to make sure that I don't... Um, that I don't get the echo from my speakers, essentially. Clint, are you creeping? 
Clint's creeping, yo. It's not cool. Aww. Oh, Clint. <laughs> I'll never upgrade my tools if you don't ask around. That's hilarious. I love it. So this is um, this is one of the cool things that I like about this game is you have these interactions with all of the different characters. Um, like depending on how many hearts you have with them, then um, they'll interact with you in specific ways and you get these cool little cinematic scenes. It, it's pretty adorable. I really like them. Oh, dang. Get him, Clint. Do it. Oh. Oh. Is she going to say it? <gasps> Yay! Aww. Romance is blossoming. Oh, comic convention. That sounds pretty sweet, Yag. Are you a big comic person or is it or is it like a general nerd convention where it's like, you know, like Comic Con is Comic Con, but it's also like everything at the same time? Cuz th those types of conventions are always fun. I've never been a really big comic book person um per se. So, yeah, it's uh, I I do like going to conventions sometimes though. They they can be pretty fun. Um I'm not a huge fan of them in general, but they they can be pretty cool. I do like them. But I generally just go for the other stuff that they have. I don't go for comic books. I remember the very first convention that I attended uh, well, maybe not the very first, but certainly the the first big one or the biggest one um, that I went to was um, yeah, it was interesting because I ended up um, spending way, way, way too much money on games, and more specifically, I spent way, way too much money on Munchkin games. And to this day, I am horribly embarrassed about it. It's just awful. So bad. General nerd stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah, that sounds like fun. I know that there there's one that's going to be near me relatively soon. Pee Wee Herman is going to be there, really. I'm surprised that he, he can still get convention work. Like, no offense to him, but after everything that happened, it's just it's kind of surprising. I mean, I guess Michael Vick can still be a successful quarterback after what he did, so... Whatever. But, um... But, yeah, that's, um... I mean, it's... Mostly, I, I'm jealous because you're, you're gonna get to meet Billy D. That's really cool. That That is amazing. I would love to meet Billy D. So some of the people in the in the town you can't give gifts to, but most of them you can. Let's see here. The nice thing is that I don't have to give things to everybody. Um, let me try Evelyn. Uh, who else? Gus, I still need. Evelyn, Gus, and Penny. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum is kind of cool. I'm I'm really curious if Jeff Goldblum is as goofy in person as he seems. You know, um, because I know very famously Robin Williams was like that, where if you met him in person, then very famously he was just as goofy and quirky and weird as you would expect from watching his shows. Which is just awesome. And, I mean, Goldblum just... He seems goofy in, like, a fun way. 
but still just goofy, you know? George Take? What? I I assume that you mean George Takei and the original Pink Power Ranger. So what was it? Um I wanna say it's Kimberly, but I'm pretty sure Kimberly was the name of the character, not the actress. <laughs> Um, yeah, I got, I don't, I don't remember her name. That's cool, though. But, I mean, George Takei, obviously, if, if that's what you meant. Um, that, that's a huge get. Because, you know, he's internet celebrity in addition to being, you know, TV movie celebrity as well. That's pretty awesome. Amy Jo Johnson. That's the one. That's the actress. The nice thing is, um, since these people have full hearts, I don't need to bother giving them anything because they already like me enough. I just need to give stuff to people who don't like me as much. Jazz. I don't remember where Jazz lives. I guess that's good because that would be super creepy if I did. Like, I genuinely don't remember where she lives. Danny Fine. I want to say she lives with Marnie, but I don't remember. Yeah, George Takei. That's, that's pretty cool. I mean, we were talking about this the, like a week ago or a couple weeks ago on, on my stream where um, like uh, basically the, the idea of um, like autographs and stuff like that and how it's, it's kind of weird because when you get autographs from people and like how much they're worth and how much they're viewed as being worth. Oh, shoot. No, I didn't mean to do that. Sam, no! Now Sam's gonna think I'm weird. Dang it! <laughs> well, I may as well dig through it. And did I actually find something? Shoot. So yeah, you can always dig through garbage cans and find stuff, but if people see you doing it, then they're like, oh, what the fuck? What are you doing? It's so weird. Yeah, I mean, the the problem I always have with doing the autograph thing is it's always just so expensive. I mean, and, you know, obviously celebrities, they set their own price for however much they want to charge, which, you know, of course, you know, you do you. But at the same time, it's just, it's kind of weird. Um, man, I, I don't know. It's... It's just kind of frustrating thinking about it in terms of like you have to spend 60, 80, 100 dollars to get somebody to like sign a picture. It just it feels like such a waste. And I mean obviously celebrities need to be paid and all that kind of stuff and I totally understand that. But I've never found it worth doing so. Um, maybe it's just because I've never liked a celebrity enough to make it feel like it's worthwhile. Or something that could very well be it but yeah I just I genuinely don't care enough to think that it's necessary oh cool the woman who uh, voices mercy that's that's so random but I mean with overwatch being such a huge thing she's probably a pretty big draw I mean that and that's that's probably the biggest weird thing for me personally is the idea of like people who are voice actors. So I know people are huge like anime fans, right? I like anime, don't get me wrong, but I wouldn't really consider myself a big anime fan. Like if you were to tell me that such and such a person voiced, even if it's one of the main characters in something I really like, you know, I would just sort of be like, okay, cool, I guess. 
because it's just not something that matters that much to me, honestly. Um, I don't know, call me stupid or crazy or weird, but it just, it, it never seemed like something that I should care about that much. So, yeah, I don't know. I know my, um, well, I, I know a few people who are like that, so I know my girlfriend is really big into that type of thing. Um, she's, um, my, so my girlfriend is really big into singing, and she herself is, is actually a, a very good singer. Um, so she's got, um, she has, like, autographs from, like, the, um, the women who voice the Disney princesses and stuff like that and did their, um, did the singing for them. So, like, that kind of thing I think is super cool, you know, but for me personally, it's not something I ever really care about. But, again, I'm just kind of weird like that. Oh, the SpongeBob guy! Oh, what's, what's his name? Dang, I can't remember. Because I know that, um, what's his name? Um, Steven, the, the guy who, um, who created Spongebob, unfortunately, passed away, um, not, not too long ago, if memory serves. It was just, it, it wasn't, like, a few days ago, but it was, like, maybe a few weeks ago. Um, so that was really, really disappointing to hear. I was really sad about that. Um, so, incidentally, what I'm doing right now is I'm putting down these little cobblestone things underneath my sprinklers um, because this makes it a lot easier for me to do my planting. That's really all I'm doing right now. And I'm going to get to bed. I'm excited, though. I'm excited to see where the, um, where the new year takes us. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Here we go. Whee! All right. I'm sad too because the last time I streamed this, we missed Santa because um, on the 25th of or the 24th of winter, Santa like flies across the screen. It's super adorable. Dun -da -da -da! Day one of spring year three, woo! It's my grandpappy. I brought honor to the family. I'm Mulan. Go me. Yay. The future of Danny's farm is in your hands. <laughs> so, I mean, it is my farm. To be fair, it is my farm. Ah. <sighs> Oh, you've been wanting to go for a while? That, I mean, that's always nice where you can sort of like fulfill the thing you wanted to do. Yeah, that's really cool. I, I'm, I'm really glad for you, Eag. I, yeah, I wish I had the money to go to conventions. Um, I mean, especially board game conventions. Like, I really want to go to PAX. I really want to go to, um, I really want to go to Gen Con. I love Gen Con. I've, I, I've been to Gen Con twice now and god it's just it's such a blast but of course i always end up spending way too much money <laughs> obviously um so yeah it's it's unfortunate but you know it's it's always just so much fun um being able to see everybody and do all that cool stuff Oh man, it feels like forever since it's been spring in this game. 
The Statue of Perfection? So apparently I did really well? I... I have no idea, but go me, I guess? Yay, Danny! He did the thing! So this is probably the only really annoying thing about this, is that you get random stuff instantly as soon as the season starts um, that you have to get rid of if you want to do any planting. Um, which, you know, fine, whatever. It's not that huge of a deal. Oh, see, all my stuff is out. All of my animals. So here, I gotta clear this out first. So this grass is how you get, um, how you get hay. I just realized I could have kept that grass there for my animals. It's nice to have the spring music again, too. It's so cheery and happy. I love it. I, I gotta see what, what, if any, changes there are now that I'm in year three. It feels like there should be something big, right? Awesome though, EA. I hope that you have a good time. I, like I said, I'm super, super jealous of you right now. I wish that I could go and see all the cool stuff. So, I think the first thing that I'm going to do, actually, I need to clear out this stuff. That's the first thing I need to do. something went wrong here so I've been um, I've been trying to grow trees here um, for a while now um, as like a, a miniature orchard essentially so that I can gather up the um, so you see down here that that little symbol so that's pine tar but there's um, there's pine tar there's um, maple syrup, and I don't remember the other thing, but there's three things that you can get from trees, and I had a bunch of them planted there. Um, and it looks like they didn't actually grow during the winter, which kind of sucks. Yeah, that's one of the biggest issues that I've always had with conventions. So I have the same problem with uh, conferences. So like um, the um, like the science conferences that I go to. Because it's just, it, it can be really, really difficult to um, to maintain myself um, when I go to these conferences. Um, I actually read an article about it not too long ago. Um, it was really cool. Um, actually, I think it was just yesterday that the article came out. Let's see here. got all this stuff. I'm going to have to buy more seeds from him later on. For the time being, though, I can at least sell some stuff.
Did you eat the acorn? You owe me a new acorn. Ah, classic Kronk. Oh, spring. Spring has sprung. It is so springy. But, um, yeah, and that's... Uh, I remember seeing... Not really rules, but more like... Heavily suggested guidelines. For, um... Especially for, um, Gen Con. Where I was talking about, like... You know... Staying clean. Because, man, I remember going to some gaming conventions. And it was clear that nobody had really showered. It was pretty gross. And it's like, I get it. You're there. You want to have fun. You want to do your thing. But, but god dang, man. God dang. It was bad. So bad. So please make sure that you wash yourself, Eag. There, I remember there was like a general rule for it. Um, ah, shoot, what was it? It was like one, two, five or something like that, where it was like one shower, two meals, and five hours of sleep or something like that every day. Um, it was like just the general recommendation to keep yourself reasonably healthy during convention going. But yeah, it's, oh god, it's, it can be really rough in there. I remember. The times were not all good. See, I'm curious now though, like, I don't know why I got the perfection statue or the, the, this little thing here. I mean, it's nifty, but I just genuinely don't know how I got it. Look! That's Kaylin. That's my daughter. Named after Kale. Because Kale is delicious. Right. So, let me start clearing this out. I want to try to get um, stuff going as quickly as possible in the spring. Incidentally, funny little story, um, in this game, you can use this thing, the scythe, without needing to utilize any energy, but if you use, um, if you, actually, no, um, the scythe and the sword take no energy, but the pickaxe and the axe do. No idea why, but it's a thing. out um so in a little bit you guys will see the advantage of doing what i did with the um the sprinklers and putting them on those little cobblestone paths oh no that's not what i meant to do it's gonna look like i'm growing scythes and and hoes pretty soon just watch. Y'all will see. Alright. Do, 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 do. Is that a thing? Yes. I hope that my trees grow now because I, I genuinely don't know why they weren't growing properly. Alright. So, if you will direct your attention above, that's why we do that. Because ordinarily, if you do this little move while there's, um, while there's something, um, what's it called? Um, if you don't have the little cobblestone path or whatever under the sprinkler, then the sprinkler will pop out, essentially. It's fun times. Hey, it's Timmy Tommy Tony. How you doing? Good to see you as always. Hope that things are going well. Timmy Tommy Tony, you miss me being judged. 
I got judged by my grandpappy. He said that I've done well, so I'm uh, pretty amazing, if I say so myself. Just FYI there. Marathwin's here too. Hey everybody. Wow, see everybody's showing up like at the last minute. Y'all crazy. some planting done. Now let's see what we've got. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> you guys, I can grow kale! <gasps> Score! Y'all know I'm growing some kale right now. I mean, that's just a fact. I'm not putting down fertilizer, but that's because I don't really need it. Eh. I'll do double kale. This kale is awesome. This is not really smart for me to plant these now, but whatever. I'm gonna get some of my trellises up. I can also start some more potatoes. I really need to get the flowers growing too. So the flowers are really nice um, down here because I'm gonna, um, I have the, the little beehives. And so the beehives will make me honey. And if you have, um, if you have the, um, what's it called? If you have the, the flowers there available, then it'll be honey specific for that, um, for that flower. That's kind of cool. Those are tulips, right? Yeah. Um, and then rhubarb. We can put this. I guess we'll start a new one for rhubarb. Honestly, don't know why I put these offset. I'm sure that I had a good reason at the time, or I thought it was a good reason at the time, but it actually wasn't. That's more likely. Hey guys, look, look. I'm growing pickaxes. <laughs> I'm not, I'm growing rhubarb. Alright, let me get my trellis thing out here. So the, um, the trellis things are really cool because these tend to um, constantly grow more stuff. The problem is that you gotta make sure that you plan ahead when you're planting them because they block your path. Trying to use the thing. There we go. Alright, got my flowers planted. I got my trellises on. 
let's see what else we can do real quick. Um, just put stuff away, I guess. Oh, that's not where that goes. Okay. I always get the apricots confused with gold. They look way too similar. I'm sorry. I'm saying it. I'm putting it out there. It's a fact. Hey, it's Tiny Human. Hi, Tiny Human. put a limit on how much you spend. That's always a good idea to try and limit your spending. That's that's always a smart thing to do. For sure. That is 100% a good idea. So this is my greenhouse. You may notice that it's like covered in all the things right now. Um, one thing that I did with my greenhouse is I focused on things that constantly reproduce themselves. Because then it's much easier to grow them. Fortunately, I've got to get to bed. And the great thing about the greenhouse, naturally, is that it makes no difference um, the seasonality of the stuff because no matter what it'll grow in the greenhouse so that's always cool no 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 it's almost me passing out time run 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 hi ya boosh wait five plus five plus 58 is 17 what what's happening right now why are we mathing in incorrectly? I'm so confused. Why do you insist on confusing me? Why y'all gotta be mean like that? I do not approve. Ain't nobody likes that. Darn right it's a super gift. Oh, look. See, she is truly... The woman after my own heart. What is your strategy for optimizing the farm this year? Oh, I love it. Aw, Sandy is bored. <gasps> she sent me Tomka? Oh, God. You guys, no. Seriously? Seriously, you guys. Seriously? Tomka soup is delicious. So good. So, so good. Y'all have no idea. It is amazing. It is just delicious. No! I think that was one of my trees. Because my intention, at least, was to have three rows of trees, but it seems like many of them are dead now. Oh shoot, I forgot to plant the animal's food. I need to do that. I mean, the, the animals can live off of hay, but I'd rather not use my stores that I've got. Oh, you don't want to drive over there, so... Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't blame you. I I wouldn't want to drive there 
either. Whatever it is. It's awesome that you have a light rail system, though. That's really cool. Let me! Alright, so let me go ahead and do this real quick. I'm not going to plant all of this grass. The key thing is that I want to get like as many rows as possible. And so you see how they're they're eating all the grass now. It's good. You go help Haiti or something. Go. There's actually been a tremendous amount of math about growing grass in this game, believe it or not. It's kind of crazy. Like if you're if y'all are ever curious, you should look at the Wikipedia for it. Because it's seriously pretty insane. Okay, so I guess I'm planting all of it. I was not intending on doing so, but there it is. Well, nearly all of it. My animals are getting all of them. They are, as as the kids say, up in McGrill, I believe is the official term. That is what I am dealing with at present. Okay, I need to go get lots and lots of seeds. Basically, I just try to have a whole bunch of everything on hand. <laughs> don't, no, don't worry about it, Meredith. I was just wondering what she was doing. I just legitimately didn't know what was happening. I, I'm not sure if it's like some kind of a gypsy curse or something, you know, I'm a little nervous. So you're here thinking that Tiny's trying to like send me to the nether or something. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of the nether, you know, so I, I mean, much as things can be difficult here, I definitely don't want to deal with the nether. Oh, you don't have wheels. Oh, well, that's an even bigger reason for it then. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it makes perfect sense, obviously. Yeah. It's still, still cool, though. It's awesome that you get to go. Like I said, I'm jealous. Alright, so let's, let's just grab, like, Poquito de Toto, as they say. I wonder if there's a way that I can buy more simultaneously. I mean, I can do like double clicks on the on the mouse over here. Like you can do both left and right click, so that's something, I guess. Yo, kale! Give me, give me, give me, give me. I need like all the kale, you guys. Yeah, we're all jealous of Eag because he gets to go to a convention. It sounds like it's going to be super fun. There's going to be like a ton of celebs there. <gasps> a covenant. I'm just saying, if Eag wants to go into a covenant or a covenant, then I'm not going to judge. I am not here to be judging people on their decisions.
All right. Now we got plenty of seeds. Because of all my clicky, clicky, clicking. Clicking the clickerton. Oh, how's the audio now? Like, um, like I mentioned, I'm deliberately speaking a little bit louder, so um, I, I don't know if that helped enough. But yeah, just, just let me know if you guys still can't hear me. Iag mentioned earlier that it was that it was kind of tough to hear me, so that that's why I asked. Okay, so uh, let's see. We need more potato. Potatoes, as the kids say. So the rhubarb is interesting, the stuff that's directly above me. Um, the problem with rhubarb is that you can only buy it in the desert, the Calico Desert. I haven't been there today, like on, on stream today. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a really neat place. They have a lot of cool stuff there. I may need to make more sprinkles. Do like triple garlic. We'll run garlic like all down the side. All jealous of all my garlickiness. Is this is rather poor planning because I didn't actually plan to have like um oh I guess I did I was just gonna say I didn't plan for walking paths but in this particular one I did I'm I'm not very good at this I try though and isn't that what really counts yes yes it is Last year I went to Gen Con to demo a game. Was that it last year? I think it was two years ago, actually. Hang on. As it happens, I have my badge right over here. Oh, dang, I don't have my badge. I just have my cool little badge holder. Um, hmm. No, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that was two years ago. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was 2017. Um, and then the time before that, it was like, oh man. It was, I want to say it was like 2013 or 2014, something like that. It was a while ago. Um, it was the summer that uh, Guardians of the Galaxy came out. Because I remember very distinctly that I went with a, a bunch of friends of mine and uh, we all went to watch Guardians of the Galaxy during one of our breaks. I, I remember it was, oh man, it was such a blast. It was so, so much fun. I really had an awesome time that year. Not that the, the other time I went wasn't fun. Oops. Making room so I can plant some kale. What are we gonna plant? We're gonna plant some kale. 
Because everybody loves some kale. 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 Double kale. Everyone loves the kale. You gotta get some kale. 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 Go kale. Go. But yeah, do, doing the demoing was really fun. That's when um, I went with uh, Genius Games and um, I was helping them demo Cytosis. It was uh, one of the uh, games I, I helped them work on. I did some, uh, some of the like end testing and a little bit of like design work and stuff. It was, it was really cool. It was, it was very different though, being there as a vendor, as opposed to being there like just as a person hanging around. Um, Cause I mean, it was, it was work. That's all it was. Like, I mean, we worked hard. We were hustling. Like it was, it was intense. And I remember I was very, very sad. I was very sad because I couldn't get a copy of the Sheriff of Nottingham expansion and I really, really wanted it. It was like the only thing that I wanted to get from, uh, from the con. And I couldn't do it because I, um, uh, because I was just working so much. And the thing is that they ran out on the first day. Like seriously, how do you run out of your new expansion on the first day? It was just ludicrous absolutely insane I, I I don't understand it I really don't but yeah they managed to so here I'm gonna do this put this in between these guys because that way we can indicate that these are both the same Cauliflower here. That said, I would definitely want to do it again. Um, doing the the whole con thing, um, like even as a vendor, it was it was really fun. It was a different experience, and plus we we got to go and do our shopping early. But didn't manage to get the stuff. No, I'm almost out of cauliflower. I'm not going to have enough for, for both of these. Uh, let's see here. I didn't plant any parsnips. But parsnips are lame. I only planted some potatoes. I didn't plant very many potatoes. Let's see here. Grab these guys so that they can start doing their thing. Ooh, I have more cauliflower. Perfect. see if I have any sprinklers. I don't have any cobblestone stuff. Don't have any sprinklers. Do I need to make them? Iridium bar, gold bar, and a battery pack. Genuinely don't know if I have that on hand. Probably do. I'm pretty sure I, yeah, okay. I'm about to say, I'm fairly certain I've got quite a few battery packs in here somewhere. <laughs> Just need to find them.
Okay, and um, it, that's that's gonna have to be it for now. Actually, this will be the best. Okay, I can at least set it up for tomorrow. Woof! Look at all that. Look at all that planting. Did you guys see me sow my wild seeds, various sorts, make some preserves? Like a boss. What's happening? Yes, Marathon. Obviously, we have a kale song. We have to have a kale song. Oh, okay. All right, good. I'm glad that the sound is better. Um, so, incidentally, I forgot to mention that's going to have to be it for me. I've got to get going now. Um, but I hope that you are all doing well and all is happy and good. Um, and I hope that you all have a, a good rest of your weekend and a wonderful week. I am, um, I, I will be back on Monday. Not sure what I'll play. I've got, um, I've actually got more options than I expected. And on top of that, if anybody's curious, Steam is doing a really cool thing right now where it's like the spring cleaning, um, what is it, the spring cleaning event, I guess you would say, um, where the idea is um, they're encouraging people to go through like their back catalog of stuff. No, I didn't mean to do that. That's fine. I, I need to, I, I'm going to reset anyway. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really neat. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I've got a ton of options. I've got like Monster Hunter and then I just installed Total War Three Kingdoms, which is fucking amazing. I played it for like 10 minutes and I was like, ah! Um, but like I said, I've got to get going. So everybody take care. Have a great rest of your weekend. Hope that all is well, happy and good. Um, again, do keep an eye out because coming up in the next uh, just few days, I'm going to be making my announcements for some changes to my um, channel and my, um, what's it called, uh, changes to my channel, changes to my streams, um, changes to my Patreon, all sorts of different stuff. Whether or not it's going to actually make a difference, probably not. And for the most part, nobody's going to need to do anything differently. But either way, take care, have a great rest of the weekend, and I'll see you all on Monday.